the worst thing that can happen to your WordPress site is you get hacked or you get some malware on it and it just will ruin your whole, I mean, it could destroy your business depending on your, your website, but it's going to ruin your day. I can guarantee you that. In this video, I'm going to go over malware. I'm going to log in, set it up, load in a website and show you how to use it. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to set up an account on this product I found called Malcare, uh, Malware. I mean, the worst thing that can happen to your website is that it gets infected and Google boots you off or you're getting these nasty security alerts to all of your users that hit it. Or worse yet, a hacker takes over, compromises your site, and just destroys it. So, you know, it's a small price to pay, but that peace of mind, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but that peace of mind is pretty, pretty uh, important to have. And with this this company, Malcare, they're going to do that malware detection. They have their server scanning once you install it on your site to see that you don't have malware. But what's really nice about these guys is they got this one-click automatic cleanup. They just keep it really simple. And from what I hear, they got a pretty good reputation. They're doing a, a lot of pretty good things, innovative things to detect and solve things fast and that's really what you want they also have a backup feature so you know that's something to look at um, but this is not something you're gonna put on your your hobby website I mean if you're a business you know you're looking at uh, up to five sites here for 260 bucks a year if you want the backup it's gonna cost you a little bit more on the personal side you're talking about 100 bucks a year so the, the website's gotta be something you know worth protecting for you um, so in my case, as you know, I use WP Engine to host all my WordPress sites. I, I think they are the best. They actually have some malware scanning that they can do, but you have to request that from them once they, uh, once you determine you've got a problem. This is continuously scanning you, you know, every couple hours and you'll know right away. And then it's a one button cleanup. So let's go ahead and give this a try. And I'm going to set up one of my sites so you can just see this process on how it works. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my tech well I'm gonna set up an account with my tech smart boss no I don't need any help Ruby I'll go ahead and close down that chat box here let's go ahead and get started I think it's a pretty seamless uh, onboarding experience you'll see it pops me it didn't even have me set up a password at this point um, I'm sure it just emailed me uh, an email with a password but it's gonna take me right into setting up my account now I've got an account an older account uh, that I set up for a client at one point I'm gonna go ahead and put that in In fact I'll just put the HTT on I think I have uh, HTTPS on it but I'll just put the uh, put the other HTTP version here let's see if I've got that spelt I don't have that spelt right so let me get that spelt right kind of hard to spell while you're talking I, I, I just discovered um, but let's go ahead and say that what you'll see is this is gonna let you add a site it's gonna automatically do that plugin install once you put your WordPress admin credentials in. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. I'll fuzz this out, even though I don't think you'll be able to figure it out. But just to be safe, no need showing you that. So now what it's going to do is go out there and log in, automatically install their plugin in that particular WordPress. And it's going to start to do its scanning and all that sort of stuff. So this shouldn't take very long, but let's... uh see what it comes back with when it finishes here now I'm on a trial as you can see here so I would upgrade I think it's a 14 day trial um, but there it goes uh, congratulations it's successful and reachable So let's go ahead into our site so this is what you get on the security side well one it's already done some scans and notice that my site is clean and that's right I keep a clean site but you never know what hackers are gonna do what I like about this particular product from what I've seen so far is it's gonna do that continuous scanning it's scanning from their servers so it's not putting that load on your site um, to scan from your site so I, I like that you'll see it has a firewall component so it's gonna start tracking uh, the ability you know it's gonna detect IP addresses that it, it knows are, are bad, bad IPs, people with bad intentions on your site, and it's going to automatically block some of those, which I find pretty interesting. So I was going to track your logins. If somebody's failing, trying to hack you, guess your passwords and things like that, it's going to tell you that. So what it's doing now, it's going in doing its scanning. It's going to check out and give me a little security report here on my plugins and my themes and all that kind of stuff if I'm up to date. Uh, so we're going to give that a second to come back. You'll see it's going to give me a score. And what I want to do is pop into this site hardening and show you that. Now, if I did want to pay that extra, you'll see the backup section here on that. Now, while we're waiting for that, I'll look at a couple other pieces here. Under settings, 
you can definitely change up sync times and, and, and authorization things like that under your account you've got your account you've got your billing and invoice section where you can set up your your plan so if I take a look at the plans you'll see those plans that we saw on their website by uh, by number of sites that you need so you've got that capability and there's also the ability to set up teams and clients so if you were doing this for more than just yourself you could do that let's pop back I think we've got some some status here all right here we go so now you can kind of see here I've got like I said I hadn't spent a lot of time on this um, on this WordPress site I've got a bunch of outdated plugins I've got some outdated themes but overall my site is clean so that's good you'll see that it gives me a little score so I could go in here now and view details for example on my plugins it'll give me the list I can update those right from here so that's a really really nice uh, thing and I can go through in my themes to my core and do the same but this is what I really like it gives you some suggestions on how to harden your site if I click in here you'll see they break this into essentials things that you really should do to just to make hacking harder advanced and the paranoid I like these options here to block PHP execution and untrusted folders and disable files editors now I use this a lot uh, in WordPress when I'm doing some stuff I want to just edit the files straight from WordPress but what's nice is if you enable these it's just a one-click thing to disable them so it's nice to have these enabled by default and then uh, if you need them you know you disable you, you, you disable them now the advanced here let's go ahead and uncheck those tells you this is pretty serious stuff here but this will actually allow you know block automatic plug-in theme installation so this is pretty good if a hacker gets access to your site tries to put on the plugin you can have that blocked by default and of course if you do that when you do want to update your plugins you got to disable that and then they got a paranoid section and this is where hey the, the site's on fire you, you, everything's crazy you can change your security keys it says here that's going to validate all your cookies and you can reset all your passwords for all your users and things like that and from talking to the developers over there they've got a pretty good pipeline where they're going to start checking out you know performance they're going to start checking out you know admin access all sorts of things here so if you have a wordpress site and it's important to you for your business I would say this is just peace of mind. This is just something that's nice to have. Um, it, it goes a little bit deeper, I think, than most hosting platforms will provide you. And, you know, I've looked at some others like Banish WP and a couple of other sites. And I tend to think that this one, I like the way they do this one a little bit better uh, than the other. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, leave a comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go out to techsmartboss.com and find our Facebook page and all that good stuff. And stay tuned for the next video.